Hello, Nerevar. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. Fallout 4 DLC. Let me say right now, they fucking lied about destructible environments. You can break wooden fences or pop a sandbag at most. Anyways, I'm gonna start with the DLC that broke me the most. Automaton. Why they decided to waste the potential of the mechanist? I don't know. I don't care that she's a woman, I care that they didn't bother flushing her out more. The Mechanist is one of my favorite little encounters in Fallout 3, and while it's short, it left me wanting so much more. Than this, sure you can build some wacky robots for companions and settlement defenders, which is honestly unique and cool. But the actual story component and quest leading there just kind of fucking suck. Two out of five. Good bones, no meat or fat, though. Ah, yes, Far Harbor Sea. This is basically Point Lookout's mentally handicapped, twice-removed cousin. I actually love the island and the whole fog theme. The main story isn't even bad, along with the side quest being rather fun for me. They even fleshed out the Children of Adam, which I personally have wanted for a long, long while. But then you get to laziness. They had good build-up, then it's just a synth safe haven with a weird guy in charge. You go in his head to find out secrets, and they kind of spoon-feed stuff, too. You... The girl you look for thinks she's a synth, but I killed her with mods, and she isn't so... spoiled. They also have a adorable red and black mire lurk that I wish I could have kept as a pet. But no. Stupid Todd Howard spent too much time on his painting than he did the game, so you can only kill it. Three out of five. Good environment and vibe. Hey, yo, watch out. Hot stinker alert. Nuka world. This is the example of the right idea, but the wrong execution. Luckily, the environment kind of slaps because it's just a massive theme park. But the raider gangs and bosses are just bleh. They could have been better, but this DLC also plays into the whole settlement system. Maybe if raiders around the waste respected you after or sent hit squads after based on your choice, it could have been good. Cool power armor skins, though, and some of the side quests are fun. Uh, they did add a couple new enemies that actually look unique and cool, but other than that, just boring reskinned raiders... Three out of five. Now on to the settlement DLCs. Contraptions is actually kind of good. It let me make a few things I wanted in my settlement, and it gives you the ability to mass-produce chems and ammo. You can also make a goofy Rube Goldberg machine, but that's only fun for a few days. Three out of five. The Wasteland DLC. To be quite frank with you, Nerevar, I forgot this one existed. You can make arenas that make for cool versus videos on YouTube, but that's about it. Trash and forgettable, unfortunately. Zero out of five. Ah, the least for last. vault Tech DLC. This one tried to fulfill the dreams the settlement system gave me. Then it shit in my fucking face. This dog shit DLC has the worst settlement connection triggers I've seen. Along with it only being usable in one fucking place. Woohoo, I can build a vault and run experiments. Can't wait to build vaults everywhere. Oh wait, I can't. I can just suck a fart through a tube like Tosh.0. Fuck off, Todd, cock in mouth, Howard. Negative 1,000 out of 5. It got my hopes up, then pissed.